what's up youtube welcome back to the uh e3 square nx recap so it just barely finished it was a really short one it was only 30 minutes so probably no wonder like ign didn't cover it uh they did stream it though so i was able to see it but like i mentioned it was pretty quick it was, it was 30 minutes so without further ado let's get started so they started off showing gameplay or actually talking about shadow of the tomb raider it actually looks pretty good you know those games are always pretty good um their main like little focus was pretty much telling you become one with the jungle because that's pretty much the way you're going to beat everyone because it says that you're overpowered by guns enemies and stuff so that's the way you can do it uh, again the game comes out september 14th this year so it looks pretty good um, i'm really interested in it so september should be a pretty good month after that they okay so at this point this is where i believe they started going into like the final fantasy online stuff never really heard of it but i guess it was storm blood for final fantasy 14 the online version i guess it i'm pretty sure it's like a dlc so that's that but i'm pretty sure it came out already or 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 something popped out for that before but I think this is the big one right here. Um, so this summer, you know, they didn't specifically say they just said summer. They're doing a little mashup for, uh, with the uh, Final Fantasy XIV Online and the uh, Monster Hunter Online. So it showed both of them then with an X. So it's like a crossover maybe. So whoever's into that, awesome. And then pretty much again, they showed uh, the... Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. We saw that in the uh, Xbox conference yesterday, and uh, again, it's 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 in the Life Life is Strange universe, but I don't think it's part of the actual story, or maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't played the game. Um, then they showed Dragon Quest Eleven, if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, Dragon Quest Eleven: Echoes of an Elusive Age. Uh, not too much imp or actually it does come out this year on september 4th 18 so there's that i guess and then once again they showed this in the xbox uh conference yesterday i think it's because it's barely coming to the xbox i don't know if it's out for the ps4 or not but it's that damn game i can't say it's nier near so it's n-i-e-r automata become as gods so it's like the full game so that's why i'm, I'm thinking Maybe it's, you know, it's been out already, but it's barely coming to the Xbox. And then this this next one, they showed a uh, a trailer for Babylon's Fall. So it was pretty much like a night theme. I don't really know too much on it. It looked like it might be an RPG. So it's going to be available, available in 2019 for the PS4 and Steam. And then they showed this game called Octopath Traveler that's coming out for the Nintendo Switch. It kind of looked like an 8-bit little kind of game. So I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that was pretty much that. Alright, so after that, they showed someone pretty much talking about Just Cause 4. And uh, they were just showing, I guess, what's, you know, what, kind of the theme of what's going on and stuff. Not too much into that game, but it was there. And then they show this one kind of strange game called The Quiet Man. I don't know if he's deaf, but he, he it's like he can't hear. And they were saying something, you know, silence is like the loudest ring or something. So no date for that one. And uh, it's for the PS4 and Steam. Like a lot of these games are just for the PS4. So exclusivity for them. And then once again, they finished off with uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. They pretty much showed the same footage that they did for the uh, Xbox yesterday. And, uh, yeah, comes out one, uh, January 29th next year. So I guess I was right, but that's pretty much it for the Square NX one today. It was a really short one, like I mentioned. And, uh, later on today, the Ubisoft one is at 1 p.m. Pacific. There's a PC gaming show at 3, which I still don't know what that is. And I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on that. I will probably see it though. And then the big one is that is, uh, Sony at 6 p.m. So make sure you catch those and... If you still want a little recap, then by all means, come back and check the channel. So, have a good one.